Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about all of the sunsets that are out currently in NHL 21. So sunsets are always a big topic because uh, people want to know if it's worth trading in their old stuff for some of the new ones. And it looks like they're trying a bunch of different new formats to sunsets. It's not just you know, um, upgrade an old card to a better card. It's a lot different. So we're going to break all that down because I keep getting a lot of questions about it in my stream and on my YouTube channel. Uh, so I thought I'd make a video. But all right, guys, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you come back for daily NHL content. And don't forget, guys, for the next few days, my G Fuel code, code no sleeves, 30% off your entire order. Go get that as uh, you want to save some money. Hype Sauce and Shiny Splash, the best flavors. All right, let's get into today's content. All right, so I've touched on the Lit versus Grit ones before. Um, honestly, I think that all of them except for High Skinning are worth doing to trade down your, you know, if you have the 89 especially um, to get the four gold collectibles because you just got to do the math on it. That's like 200K. If you have the 90, maybe you'll hold off a little bit longer, but these are these sets are always going to be here. So as the game goes on, it's, a little, it's you know, it's better to do. I still think that High Skinning is still worth more than the, um, the, car, the, the current value of these. So that's the only one I wouldn't do, and I've talked about that before. But other than that, I would trade pretty much everything else in. Uh, so that one's pretty easy. Let's talk about the Halloween sets because these have gotten a lot of uh, questions as well. Basically, how they work, if you trade in the 89 uh, Marcel Nobles and 10 uh, gold collectibles, which... Uh, is about 500k in value. Uh, you can get a 93 overall hut blockbuster item. Uh, it's a choice pack for free. Again, that's a the only way that I would go out and make this there really isn't a time in which I would go out, buy one of these master items, and then do it because you're, they're still roughly around 200K, maybe a little bit under. But that means you're spending, like, again, 500K plus that investment. Now, here's the situation. If you have any of these except for Carlson, uh, except for Carlson and they're untradeable, like, let's say you have Marcel Noble, or sorry, Tavo Teravine and untradeable. Uh, from the event, 100%, I think it's worth it if you're going to make a blockbuster item because, you know, the, the 93 Teravine is great, but you could go out and get Kessel or the, you know, the, the Mike Fisher card, even, you know, even Jack Johnson and, and Weber are upgrade over that. So uh, 100% do that, especially the same with Zach Cassidy if you have an untradeable. Marcel Noble, I would probably do because you could trade that in and get Fisher or Lindros, depending on your play style. And that's obviously going to help. And then, you know, Cassian, as well as Colton Pareko and Linus Allmark, those are definitely worth it if you are going to make them. So that's the only caveat with that. It, it all depends if you're going to make them or not. John Carlson, if you have them, again, if you have any of these cards tradable, guys, I'd probably just sell them unless, like I said, uh, the value that they're knocking down is more than what the, what you can get for them. So if do the math. If the gold collectibles are worth 50K, then uh, just do that math if you're saving yourself any money or not. John Carlson obviously still has value because of his distribute or sorry, his synergy combo. Uh, it's the best in the game. Um, so that I still think is uh, a little bit to hold off on that one. That, the thing is that you can get a 93 blockbuster item at any point with these. So there might be a point where it's super sneaky to just, you know, people aren't paying attention and the market for Cassian drops like a hundred K. Uh, you might be able to just snag uh, one of these and get the 93 hub blockbuster item. So. All right, lastly, we got the Winter National set. So if anyone at Christmas time, uh, you got a free 90 overall player, and now you can get a redo. So for 50K or gold collectible, you can change to switch to any of the other ones. Honestly, at this point in the game, it, it's really not going to matter all that much, I think, unless you really didn't like the player that you selected. Like, obviously, you know, it's funny because David Riddick was – got a ton of fanfare because of how well he played and that's just because master items don't have the goalie stat caps and he's six foot four but i wouldn't recommend doing that uh for sure the other one is like ristolainen and Wierenski. like ristolainen if you got a forward i think the defensemen are a little bit more valuable now just because there, it's hard to it's a there's a weird little gap between like the high 80s and the master items where it's tough to find a card worth it rasmus ristolainen and Wierenski are both really good cards so that would be uh, an option to consider. But, like, Svechnikov has been okay for me. I think that it's probably best if you got one of the forwards. Nylander is still the best one, in my opinion. I did a video breaking them all down if you wanted to go back and watch that. Nylander is still, in my opinion, the best one. But he's right-handed. There's so many good right-handed players. So, um, this one's going to be tough. I don't know a lot of people that are going to take advantage of it. Um, but again, it's gonna. You can now change the position that you have an abundance of. But I have a feeling it'll be a lot of people changing to Risto or Wierenski because there's just not as many elite defensemen. But lastly, the one other thing I want to talk about is um, just watching out for prime times, guys. Like 
the one thing that I notice a lot of is that prime times after like I will take example to go here for example is prime times and team of the weeks they get forgotten about because they're just they're the, the they're the new hotness for a little while and then they're it just seems like they're forgotten about like if you go Jake Muzzin for example the eighty nine overall there isn't any um you know th- you want to search through these old ones when upgrading players it's just it's something I want to bring up because uh you know I think it is a good tip. Um, go through and look as you might be able to find a sneaky good value like for example this morgan riley is a really good card and they're you know 72k for him is is pretty all right again if you activate shutdown on him and you have distributor and spark this is a nice left-handed defenseman card and you can get them a lot cheaper just something i want to mention because i get a lot of questions about like what card should you focus on the ones you can make sneaky value on it and kind of steal away aren't the event cards it's prime times the team of the weeks because people just forget about them all right guys so that is going to do it for today's video on sunsets let me know what you think in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for daily nhl content and also catch me live on twitch every single day i go live now about 10 a.m eastern time play a little bit of tarkov then we play some nhl uh, but yeah guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time have a good one